A couple months ago, from one of my Hollywood sources, I was sent the early treatment slash boil down script of Prometheus. And it's all about humans' origins. Did aliens create us? One of the most anticipated films in a long time. It's coming out tomorrow. So we're going to restream a piece I did a few months ago with Aaron Dykes. The secrets of Prometheus film leaked. And they're talking about how it's designing our future and showing us with predictive programming what things are going to look like in the future. Ridley Scott, who made Blade Runner and so many other seminal films, I was able to get an early boil-down script of this and was able to you know, accurately tell you it's about did aliens or did God create humanity? And now Ridley Scott has come out and said, well, yeah, that's basically what the film is, and it's a prequel of sorts. And so, yes, now I'm seeing the spoilers and, and the reviews from Sneak Peeks uh, we did get a real script, but I didn't spoil it for everyone. Uh, this is obviously an Illuminati message, but within that Illuminati message, you can understand why they want to become God, why they are endangering us with genetic engineering and nanotech and all the rest of it, because they believe they've got to do this or die trying to ascend, that if they don't, they won't ever gain that life extension technology system. The controllers of this globe are at least 30 years ahead of us technologically. That's why they're so arrogant right now. But remember, you're still human too. You've made a lot of mistakes, globalist. And from my research, there's a good chance you're going to destroy yourselves and all of us along with you. Uh, films like Prometheus uh, are um, basically where we see the revelation of the method via the Illuminati. And that's why this film is is uh, important and I'll be watching it tomorrow and then being able to give you a full review on the Sunday show 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, but if you're out there watching on the web and want to see a deeper analysis of all of this be sure you uh, check out prisonplanet.tv where we have 15 day free trials running right now and by putting in some of your energon cubes you fund us in our ongoing effort to build a stronger media operation. Alright let's go ahead and go to our breakdown of Prometheus. Ridley Scott, arguably one of the greatest living directors, is set to release a prequel to his 1979 mega-hit, Alien, Prometheus. One of the most anticipated sci-fi films in recent memory, InfoWars.com research analysis shows Prometheus is not just a film, but a revelation of the method, revealing the deepest secrets of the Illuminati mystery religion. I do have a lot of contacts in the media, as uh, viewers and listeners know, and I have been able to secure a copy of an early script, and it follows very closely from the trailer I've seen and other leaks. And I'm not going to give the entire film away here, but in synopsis, this is a film about the origins of humankind with a super race of near-immortal genetic engineers who are contemplating a genetic overwrite or rewrite of the planet Earth. When meddling humans stumble in to the magician's laboratory, they are punished for their trespass. It was so wrong. The so-called space jockey is the advanced species that have engineered humans back on Earth and produced the bioweapon that we know of as the classical alien that burst out of your chest after feeding on the food in your intestines. The reason we're taking time out to examine Prometheus is because its storyline, its plot, mirrors that of many ancient societies. And the ideas presented in Prometheus are at the core of Western secret societies. These are ancient civilizations that were separated by centuries, and yet this same pictogram was discovered in every one of them. Please tell me you can read that. I think they want us to come and find them. Across the world, we see evidence of early civilizations' obsession with what they believed were off-world influences. From the Nazca lines in South America to the pyramids of Egypt, we see artifacts, testament to early man's obsession with off-world manipulators. Every ancient culture believed they were communicating with men from the sky. 
Ezekiel with spinning wheels of fire landing and creatures with blue space helmets approaching Ezekiel and giving him a drug to take and then he has wild hallucinations. One could say that Prometheus is simply art imitating life and putting a 21st century spin on the beliefs of the Dogon tribe in Africa and the Aztecs of Mesoamerica. Eric Von Donegan, more than any other living person, has popularized the idea of chariots of the gods and that our planet has been visited and manipulated by off-world creatures for thousands of years. But the systems that he popularized were regurgitated whole cloth from ideas developed by the ruling class of this planet. And I want to be clear, every major globalist we look at, going back more than 160 years, is completely and totally obsessed with the idea that off-world aliens are controlling this planet and giving them hidden knowledge by the 1870s. T.H. Huxley Group and their X-Club was dominating the Royal Society in England. The dominant theory within the X-Club was that humans had been seated here, along with most other life forms, by advanced beings from space. From the inception of Darwin's theory on the origin of species, evolutionary scientists never believed for a minute that life simply started on its own. That evolution is not some random, slow system developing by chance, but is actually directed by off-world cedars, terra farmers, creators of worlds. Even the discoverer of DNA Francis Crick promotes the idea that life was seeded on this planet in what he calls directed panspermia. It is part of the larger myth of transhumanism. Huxley, Darwin, Wedgwood, the Galtons, they all interbred in an attempt to create this transcendent Superman. The governing class of this globe believes that they are channeling advanced technological systems given to them by ancient alien species. And the science fiction of the last 150 years, whether it's Jules Verne or H.G. Wells or those that came before them, is obsessed with this and they're on record part of secret societies who believe what they're promoting is actually reality, but knowing that the public is not ready to accept it, they cover it under the guise of fiction. And the film Prometheus is completely constructed around the secret religion of the Illuminati, who believe that they are transcendent and becoming the Superman. We can create cybernetic individuals. We are the gods now. Blurring the lines between fiction and reality, we see a futuristic presentation of the technology conference TED. The keynote speaker is the founder of the Wayland Corporation, Mr. Wayland. There he describes Prometheus stealing fire from the gods. From the Titan Prometheus, our first true piece of technology, fire. The transference of fire, or the first technology to man, is only the beginning of his transgressions. Prometheus is a titan and the creator of mankind who attempts to elevate humans to the level of gods and is punished. The Illuminati believe they have stolen the fire of true genius from the gods. Biotech, nanotech, fusion. As man attempts to become godlike, we release potential forces that can and probably will destroy us. I want to say this in summation. We're not facing off-world genetic engineers that the elite believes created this planet, whether that's true or not. We're facing the global technocrats that are splicing every plant and animal and insect you can imagine together, that are creating chimeras with hundreds of species within them, giving rise to super viruses and bacterial mutations. We are already seeing within three generations in rodents total sterilization and massive deformities in these animals. 
and we have proven from the Rockefeller Foundation documents and other reports that this is part of a long-term program to wreck the general public's DNA. This is the global elite who have fantasized about off-world genetic engineers creating them actually in a 160-year-plus program developing the sciences and technologies to put this into place. Whatever you say about the Illuminati, they have got patience and they have had incredible vision. But I believe humanity needs to hear the truth and understand this is being carried out against us all. Because we have a choice to stand up now, but only a short window, and say no. I know the plot of the film. I know how it ends. But I'm going to leave that for you to discover. The point is, the film itself is only a revelation of the method, an externalization of the hierarchy. The Illuminati is simply a older term for social engineers, those that are illuminated, those that know how humans work, those that pay attention to the knowledge gained by past generations instead of going through the same mistakes over and over again. And they use their knowledge to control human populations and undoubtedly dumb us down and hurt us because the globalists, the Illuminati, the social engineers have found that if we're empowered and are truly enlightened, they're not going to be able to dominate us. So they are committing the ultimate sin. They are actually trying to keep us from getting the fire of Prometheus. They are the anti-Prometheus. You are not eliminated. You seek darkness. You want to have the knowledge and keep it from us. But if you truly have the knowledge, you would understand that we need to empower humanity. And that darkness is not the answer. So I indict the Illuminati. As usual, everything about you is a lie. You are not illuminated. You are unilluminated. You are darkness. What's the Latin word for darkness? What's the Latin word for lies? That should be the new name of the Illuminati. Lies and darkness in Latin. How do you say lies in Latin? How do you say darkness in Latin? We'll look for that answer and come back to that uh, in a little while. We're looking it up right now. What is the Latin for darkness? Noctum Eternium, Nox Eternia, Eternia. So Nox, I guess, would be darkness. Nox, and then what's lies in doing this, doing this live to tape here, folks. Let's look up uh, lies in Latin. Mendacium. So Nox Mendacium, Nox Mendacium, dark lies. And if the New World Order has its takeover, it will mean eternal darkness. That's what they seek is death and pain and destruction. And for those of us that love life, there's always something shimmering and otherworldly uh, and, and almost sexy about the darkness. But once you have swam in those waters, you will find that you're only seeing the shimmer of light on the surface of the dark, and it's that shimmer of light on the outside of the darkness, on the outside of the black hole that you see is beautiful. There is nothing in the darkness but death and destruction. Original thought there, ladies and gentlemen, not plagiarized, I will assure you. But I'll guarantee you, you can go find some philosophers who said the same thing. Because truth is eternal. Veritas. I don't need to, uh, to know what that is in Latin.